up, Rock Nation? This is Buck Primo with your Rock US tech team. Today, I'm going to give you a really, really important tech tip. Uh, this is probably one of the most important tech tips that we uh, should come out with, but that you need to make sure that you're doing. And that is your Rock Tunnel Sahara burner filter replacement. This burner filter needs to be replaced every 30 days. And some of you guys might be like, What's a burner filter? I'm gonna show you today. Again, this needs to be replaced every 30 days. If you're not doing it, please contact your Rock US support team and we will go ahead and get you taken care of and ship you some of these filters uh, so you can stock them. I would say have at least six months to a year supply on hand. That way every single month you get a reminder, replace the filter and you'll have a good working burner assembly. So. Let's get to it. To start this job, I'm gonna need a screwdriver. This is to push the prongs down. You can see in the manual, it talks about this and then a new filter element. So I'm gonna grab these things and then I'm gonna go down below. Okay, so you can see my filter assembly there. This is one of the most disgusting spots I'd say in a screen printing shop other than maybe the ink area. And hopefully that's cleaner than what you see here. So. Um, there's the filter element. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to replace this thing. So once I'm under here and I have my filter element right there, you'll see up on top, there's some metal tabs right here. And right here, these are on top and on bottom. So you need to push these in in order to get this metal grate off. So I pushed these in far enough earlier to where the grate just kind of pops right off. And so I'll just pull this guy off. You can see kind of how clean it was before, but that outside ain't looking too pretty. So I'm just gonna end up pushing this thing out and kind of see how easy it falls out. I'm gonna blow this off with air, maybe give her a good wipe down and then I'll put the new element in there. Now that the metal cover is nice and clean, I'm just gonna go ahead, grab my filter element. Again, came from the Rock US support site. I just ordered six months of filters just to make sure that we had some on hand. These are cut to size, so they should fit nice and snug. Just like that. And again, the screwdriver, I was gonna use this to push down those metal tabs. Again, two at the top, two at the bottom, but I had already done that before. So if you're struggling to get this piece off, just bring a screwdriver down there and just push those tabs in. So I'm gonna go ahead and now put this guy back on. Crawl underneath here. Make sure that each side is pushed all the way in, and then I can pry those metal tabs up if they went down too far. I'm just gonna give a good push, push on it, make sure that we've got a seal. And easy as that. All right, Rock Nation, so that was your tech tip of the week. Uh, stay tuned for more tech tips on keeping your equipment up and running at tip-top shape. Get it? Tip-top. Sense. But if it didn't, let me know. This is Buck Primo with the Rock US Tech Team signing out. Thank you guys.